venous disease is probably one of the commonest medical conditions to affect the lower limbs. For this reason alone, it's important that doctors, nurses, medical students and other healthcare professionals have an understanding of the classification of venous problems. In addition, I think it's important that members of the public uh, know a little bit about the classification of venous disease so that they can identify when they have a problem with their legs and seek appropriate treatment. The clinical classification uh, ranges from C1 to C6 and I'm going to describe these um, clinical stages uh, and illustrate them with clinical photographs. The clinical classification of venous disease is based on the visual appearance of the leg with the patient standing. C1 disease is the presence of telangiectasia and reticular veins that are best treated by microsclerotherapy. C2 disease is the presence of lumpy varicose veins and this is, these are caused by superficial vein reflux. Treating the reflux deals with the varicose veins and the associated symptoms. C3 disease is the presence of fluid or edema around the ankles and the lower part of the leg. And once again, successful treatment leads to an improvement in the edema and any associated symptoms. C4 disease is the presence of skin changes such as varicose eczema or atrophy blanche lipodermatosclerosis, and these skin changes are greatly improved by treating the reflux. C5 is the presence of a healed venous ulcer. C6 is the uh, most severe form of venous disease, an active ulcer. So there you have the clinical classification of lower limb venous disease from C1 to C6.